Hello. <laughs> uh, so I um Dio wife filling in for Dio the gospel gamer tonight. Who is A trying to stop smoking? B slightly disappointed in the result of the England match. And C not sure how much of Doki Doki Literature Club we can take. And looking after the baby. Which is usually my job. Uh so yeah, let's just see how this goes. This is episode eight. Okay. Okay. Off you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I am going to try and pick the darker words. See what happens. Graveyard. Definitely a Yuri word. Misery. Is she getting more and more depressed? The the more depressing words I pick? Fester. I'm starting to see what you mean about this music. It's hard work. And this screen is actually quite off-putting, even though it looks really s simple when you're watching it. Natsuki's not getting much attention here. How many of these is there? Continue reading. I brought my best tea today. Natsuki Monica. <laughs> you look great. Yeah, totally unprepared. Decided to do this at the last minute. No makeup, no hair done. I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? Monica's late. In con no, Natsuki's late. I'm confused. So these two are fighting again, basically.
Okay, so these two are fighting about basically nothing. That they're irritating each other and Yuri is on edge about something. And here's Monica. Who's late. As is Geo. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, you must. Uh oh. Tech support. I'm not sure what has happened. The Are you laughing at me? Maybe they, uh, Are you laughing at me? maybe they realized I was actually a girl. Disguised as Geo. Okay. Okay, start again. I'm going to go through these more depressing words quickly as possible. I have no music. Uh, broken. Hurt. Misery. Fear. Frightening, despise, disoriented, graveyard, Aura. It's actually much easier without the music. Scars. Anxiety. Entropy. Hopeless. Death. Disaster. Misfortune. Melancholy, suicide, unrequited. <laughs> Yuri, hi Geo. Geo says we should have switched places and acted like I'd always been female. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. I'm just interested as to what type of tea it is. Jasmine tea? Oh, here we go. We have to go through the fight again. Natsuki, Monica, I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me. Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying any attention. Okay, I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. 
Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Geo just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Aha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, right, I forgot um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Aha! Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something, but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm going to help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica. Ah... Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Geo. So we're all friends again. It's basically the long and short of that. And acting like this is some sort of normal club. Anyway, Geo, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Geo is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, and um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that I that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Isn't this the bit that you did yesterday where they sit down on the floor and drink the tea? I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Random information. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements, the inane detail of every action. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water picture? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here, it won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water picture to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. There's something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting, so I decided to go look for her. This is the same part from yesterday, I think. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha 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 ha. Crazy laughter. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri?
Okay, so... She did this yesterday and then cut herself. So is this... This is either a repeat of the same segment of the game or it's happening again. Oh, this is different because now we're actually acknowledging that it happened, are we? How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean... Everyone has a few unusual things about them. Sob story music. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is, a, is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable, like bringing a knife to your house. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. Yeah, it... It repeated the same segment from yesterday but instead of just like acting like it didn't happen we're acknowledging it now but she obviously doesn't remember it happened yesterday but did it even happen yesterday because when it happened yesterday Geo didn't acknowledge it either so it is very disorientating but the music at the minute is like very sad rather than spooky and that is actually drawing me in to feel quite a bit of empathy for Yuri. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. And now we're getting into a kind of disclosure like Sayori made when she opened up about her depression and anxiety. So there seems to be a point with each character where they truly open up to their their deepest feelings my obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something so I eventually stopped trying to talk to people if nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me then it's just easier if I close myself off but recently something's been wrong I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy, like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. I think this is basically what she said yesterday in the closet. It's been making me do weird things. No kidding. I don't know why it's happening. Geo, and the music stopped. Is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? Complete change of topic. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. Complete change of focus and uh, diversion of attention away from her onto Monica. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. Well, yeah, you're all fighting over the same guy, so... I'm not crazy, right? Mm, let's not answer that question. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. I know that I was watching on my phone and I couldn't hear the soundtrack very well. It's much, much louder with the earphones on and that is creepy. It's supposedly her heart beating, but it's very creepy. Just the two of us. We could stay here until the club ends. There's a point going to the club. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Ooh. 
Nobody to interfere with our read reading time. Oh wow, look at her eyes. You can actually see another Monica's behind her. You can see Monica behind her. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. Ah, that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Can you see Monica behind her there? Why don't you come to my house sometime? Yeah. Definitely. I can show you my collection of knives. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I'm just coming up with my own uh, soundtrack here. I, this should be to the theme of therapy knives. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Now you can see Monica more clearly. Although I'm not sure if that's just because I've been looking at it for longer. Or she's becoming more prominent. No, she's definitely becoming more prominent. Nobody deserves to be lonely. This is this would be really scary if you were in the house on your own and you were young. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Literature Club, Geo. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Okay, complete bunny boiler. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Literature Club. Well, at least we're being honest now. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. What about Natsuki? Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. She has turned into Monica now. And read together. Eat together. Sleep, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? Again, where are the parents? How old are these girls? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? Now she is Monica. It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that we've patiently waited years for yet and you're losing control again of the design of the game because she is outside of the the writing again. Will you do that with me, Geo? And just like that. Okay then, so that never happened or was some kind of dream. Who should I show my poem to first? Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica? Well, being that Yuri and Monica are kind of the same person at the minute. I'm just like relieved to see Natsuki. Oh man, this is seriously a step backwards, you think? Hello, Cropella lives 96. Sorry, I can't see that very well. Very bright green.
I liked her last two way better than this one. But she didn't like them very much. This is clear Yuri's influence. Oh yeah, because I picked all the depressing words. I didn't realize you were so impressionable. Spending all this time with her in the club. Now trying to write like her. Actually, I'm pretending to be Geo. This is stupid. At least Monica appreciates my writing. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you now. I really hate that I have to do this. I, I don't know why any of these people are in this club. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Ugh. Oh, it's a letter. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something, because cupcakes mean that much to you. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. After giving him a really hard time about his own poem. Uh, how do I get out of this? Okay. I changed my mind. Uh, I, <laughs> I have no face. I thought she was two face. Now she's no face. Okay. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Where is your face? Can you hear me, Dio? If she would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. There is no consistency in this whatsoever. It's just it just jumps from one thing to another and I I, I don't feel like uh I don't feel like there's any trajectory anymore. Um it's it's just a whole load of different things hodgepodge together. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Just Monica, just Monica, just Monica. So now I have to click just Monica. Okay then. Well, since it, 
it's now the Just Monica show. I'm going to go for Yuri. Again, I'm just in a completely different time-space continuum now. <sighs> Yuri, finally. I have no idea what you two are talking about. Oh, I see, yes. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Of course you do. Geo, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Aha, you're too nice to me, Geo. I've never met anyone as nice as you. Really not, like... I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I don't think any of them have any idea about what kind of emotions are healthy. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. Let me guess, under your pillow. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Okay, I did not just read that. This is this game supposed to be for 13 plus. Not cool. Oh, I see right now I'm the one with the dirty mind because I misinterpreted what she meant. Actually, she's talking about harming herself, not pleasuring herself. <sighs> you can have my poem too, thank you. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. I, I'm really not sure what was the best thing about joining this club. Was it getting to keep Yuri's poem or is it the cupcakes that Natsuki's going to make for me? Imagine if I'd never bothered. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Okay. Hurry, read it. I may be regretting choosing all the depressing words. The music's really creepy. Ah. Uh, do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about blah 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 blah. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. This is really creeping me out. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I do not like that music. I think I'm going to vomit. I'm just actually really nervous about continuing with this now because I accidentally read a spoiler and I have some idea what is going to happen at some point and I'm not looking forward to it. Well, you know, I guess it's going to be Monica then. Don't say I didn't warn you, Dio. Don't say I didn't warn you, Sarah. Blank space. 
Is it a yes or no? I see think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick no. No, I'm good. Do I want to switch? No, I'm good. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room at sailing on walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself, the air was humid, and the sound of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Okay, everyone. On that sunny note... It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Well, at least I get a heads up. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes! Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Like, none of us are on the same page here? Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Because that's what a vice president does. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. Oh, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. I have no idea what train of thought Yuri is in now. Whether she is quitting the club. Whether she is aware that she's quitting herself. Whether she has any clue who she is there see that's a great idea and that gives us all something to do eh what about Geo Geo is going to help me well you are the boss so okay wait you you have the easiest job Monica sorry but that's just how it is like hell it is what are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already mo most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. <laughs> like you would epic no. All you care about now is dragging Geo around with you and your stupid books. So I previously thought that Natsuki was just kind of stupid and immature. But now she's starting to reveal herself to be very unstable and a bit of a loose cannon. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Geo decide who to help instead of abusing your power? Hmm. I actually was just thinking that uh, all these guys are extremely manipulative and they're potentially all abusing their power as females with this male character um, when the game started I thought perhaps he was going to end up being a bit predatory but now I, I think it's the other way around 
Um, this is also the second time today that I've come across this term, abuse of power. Um, and I actually noted it down because I thought it was interesting in, in terms of what is going on in this. Um, it came up in a show I was watching earlier, so... I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Moniker. Just let Geo make the choice, okay? Hmm. Okay, fine. Fine. Once again, Geo is presented with the impossible choice. Jeez. Geo, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your mouth and let him decide for himself. So now Yuri's swearing. Um, Natsuki's the only one who hasn't made a play for Geo so far. So it looks like it might be her turn. You shut your mouth. I'm just not even going to go there. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? What am I even choosing? Which person I'm going to help at the festival? Okay. Which nut job should I pick? I'm going to pick Monica because she's the least scary right now. Which probably means she's the most scary. But let's see what happens. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. Always at my house. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you kidding me? This isn't fair at all. The expletives are on the rise. And I'm thinking there's psychological reason for this. Supposed to have some sort of psychological effect. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Geo for yourself. Actually, guys, I'm married to him. It's, uh, it's really pathetic. What a shameful thing to do. Mm. Shaming somebody. Classy. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. And the music stopped. And everybody's eyes are wide open. I'm being unreasonable. Ah, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. These girls have issues. Pulling Geo away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? I, 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 I think they need to get more males in here to go around. Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Hmm. No. Just no. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Let's see, okay, let's just go. Here's a question. Have any of you not considered killing yourself? I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. I don't know if the game is picking up its pace with the psychological horror and the emotional instability in the characters or if it just feels more intense because I'm playing it now instead of watching it. But even when watching it the harmless stuff seems 
still seems harmless enough and really disjointed with everything else but now I'm starting to just feel like it's quite an intense experience and that everything's kind of disjointed and um, it might just be because it's getting further into the game is that so much to ask Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door but I get now what George is saying where you reach the point where you're almost afraid to put press the space bar because everything's so unpredictable you just don't know what's going to happen next hey Gio Yuri is really something isn't she and your screens like this where everything's all nice it's kind of a relief it's um it gives you a break lol what are you lolling at Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door now we're all friends again. Ooh, no, 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 no. Scary breathing again. So this is the third time Yuri's got Geo on her own with the scary breathing and the, uh, you know, the crackling sound effect, like the record's been left on repeat and the sad, sad music. Finally, finally. Eh. This is really all I wanted. The music's really warped now. Dio, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah. Wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. That's a pretty crazy face. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. But this is not good. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good... And why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Gio. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. There's like creepy laughter in the background. Don't know if you can hear that. And the piano is really off key. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Dio, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Ah! I want you all to myself and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Gio. Tell me you want to be my lover. Again, not really sure that being somebody's lover is appropriate for 13 plus girls. Do you accept my confession? Like, I, I have two daughters, one stepdaughter. When they're 13, I really do not want them playing this game. Do you accept my confession? Bah! It's like Sophie's choice. I'm gonna say no. I think Geo would probably say yes. But that didn't go so well with Sayori, so... No. The music stopped. Ah. So on second thoughts, maybe yes. Ah, indeed. 
Indeed. Okay then. So that just happened. <laughs> I get it. I just don't know what to do now. I'm just taking a moment. In the middle of that, it looks like it says Geo. Hmm. Gobbledygook, gobbledygook, gobbledygook. So obviously she's dying. I did say that my Lol, I come right when you're when Yuri dies. All oh, right, you just came in. Oh dear. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, I did say that um, my reactions might be more interesting than Geo's. Because, uh, like, you know, when somebody gets shot in a crime show, I'm like, <gasps> I'm just really trying to get my head together to move on. I don't know how much of this gobbledygook there's going to be. There's something... There's something disturbing in the music, but there's something... peaceful in it too. Which is disconcerting. Like, um, there's like a sense of relief, almost, that the 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 character's pain is over. I don't know how long this gobbledygook's gonna go on for. Is this is this her just like bleeding out? And I I can't I can't do anything. I can't call anyone. I can't um I I can't move on. I can't get away from the scene. Come on. It's like waiting for England to score all over again. I don't know how many times I've pressed the space bar now. Must be about 20. I'll have to rewatch it and count. Uh, there's something about doing this that is making me be dis desensitized to this. I have no control over anything.
I have no idea when this is gonna end. I, I just feel like it's just gonna suddenly just end and say the end. And I'm just gonna be left feeling like this. And the music is getting very Twin Peaks. Yeah, I thought her face changed, her, her mouth changed. Like she looks, it could have just been the light, but it looked like she woke up for a minute. Or maybe you just meant to, to think that, because that's what would be going through your head if you were there. Yeah, it's really not. <laughs> What's she screaming about? Oh, does sh she sees Yuri? Wow. So he's sat there with her the whole weekend? Okay. Huh? She's the game creator. Yeah, so it's <laughs> the game is aware of itself. And is mocking me. Basically. <laughs> oh, sorry, your trauma was just a complete accident. I'll make it up to you by pretending it never happened. So, uh, what? Natsuki's deleted? It doesn't mean anything. She could be appear in the next screen. Yeah, because that's the answer. Oh.
After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? Because obviously all this psychological horror has made me somebody else. That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Dio. It's what you think. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. <laughs> it's almost like it knows, though. Mm, yeah, but that's what it's going for, you know. Unless it can pull up some, uh, like, you know, my internet history, I'm not really worried. Yeah, but, um, like, it can't pick up on the chat, can it? No, oh, no, 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 no it can't. But, uh, it's, like, it's created that kind of paranoia in my head where I'm like, does the game know that we switched? Yeah, exactly. Did we know that? Well, I pretty much had links then also. Well, we knew that the game knew it was a game. We didn't know that Monica was the source of all the evil behind it, although we did. You were the one who wanted to spend a weekend with her. <laughs> <laughs> we did uh, suspect as much. Yeah, I thought so. Well, I kind of just started to mess with her and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. I thought so. I thought she was behind it all. Yep. So now, yeah, but now she's turning the tables to make out like you're the programmer. any whiskey on that? <laughs> yeah, our sober, sober October is final now.
Should I end the episode now? Um, unfortunately, way past that point. No, you better just see this part through. See how far the rabbit hole goes here. Okay, so Monica's expressing undying love for Dio now. She's confessed that it's a game. Um. Everything's gone pretty badly wrong with the other characters in the game and now they've been deleted, so what... What can actually happen now? Where can this go? So... More and more pressure. Less and less choice. And, you know, there's an apocalypse outside. I really hope it ends soon. Can you play it on anything else? You can. You can download this game directly in the game note graph, which is actually quite funny. It's basically how it works. It's, that's, that's it's part of it trying to freak you out. It's part of it being clever, but I can see how they did that on our little browser. Actually, if you can delete the list, it's just going to show you the button. Oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't do another poem. Just that scratchy sound. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been through worse tonight. <laughs> Here you go. It, it's a masterpiece. I'm proud of you. Now what? I don't know. You started this train track. Let's finish it. <laughs> what? Keep going? Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I haven't seen what you wrote. Did you write a good poem? There really is no end to your thoughts. This is exactly what you say to me every day. This is exactly what she just said to me five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. You can read it. Happy end, pen in hand, I climb my strength. No, here, you talk. <coughs> okay, happy end, pe pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. What are you doing? Just hanging out. <laughs> See? Your shadow behind me. <laughs> There's bits in my hair. <laughs> Ah, dear! Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices. Behold the special day. After all, not all, all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. Well, you don't have a heart, so... The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realisation. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Geo?
I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude of them for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. You and me both, Monica. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? Oh dear. No, I really, really don't like. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, bring it on. We'll see what you got. I'm just kidding. Can't do anything after all. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, you can't do anything? That's it? Okay. Well, that might be it. Alright, hold on. I'll give you a way to end it. Let's see, OBS. Now just go... Whoop. Let's go. Whoop. There you go. You don't have to stare in your eyes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, end it. Um, remember, just with recording type things. Um, so, YouTube, like, say bye. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Okay, so we're talking about the game now. Can you delete her? Yep. Don't delete her. <laughs> but she's the only one left, then what have you got left? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, skip to the end. Now she's giving me a lesson in uh, Manipulation 101. Join us tomorrow for episode 9. If there is one. <laughs> I, 
I'm going to go and... Uh, think about what just happened and try and make some sense of it.